That's plenty. That's plenty. That's plenty. That's plenty. We don't count. That's plenty. That's plenty. <laughs> I'm from Deer, Arkansas. It's like big, awesome, cool. <laughs> well, hey guys, <laughs> we're uh, we're here. <laughs> Didn't know the camera was running. Hey, we're down here on Bull Shows, and we're with our crappie guru on this lake right here, the the YouTube phenomenon that he has become now, Mr. Kyle Lassiter. And whoops, the crappie hey, king. You just go. The Kyle, the crappie king, last well, is what tell I like. Then prefer. you just tell him. You're we're we're back on bull shows with turnage and the G3 boats. I just don't think you'll get any better uh, day of catching fish than what you get here. So hopefully we'll get to put you boys on some. And if not, then you'll just never see this and know that we didn't catch any. So or there it could go. be 10 inch eaters. So, <laughs> you, you know, so anyway, yeah. we're going to go after crappie. So we're going after if crappie. you're watching this, we at least caught fish. Yeah. If you're exactly. watching this, we caught fish. So we're going to head to our first spot. So thanks y'all for watching and uh, we'll see you out there on the water. Will you put me one on? Oh, yeah. No, I'll put it on my hook. Yeah. Well, I don't have to touch that water. Okay. I can. <laughs> you want me to? Uh-oh, oh, what are you going to get him? You going to get him? Yeah. And? There, there he is, yeah. It ain't no... Big old, big old brim. Big old sad daddy. Got him, got him, got him. Well, he's fighting you pretty good. He's oh, gonna... oh, oh. Oh, oh. Look at that, boys. Yeah. Hey. Man, what a start. Kyle. Mm, there we go. What a start. That's what you want. What a start. That. There's that the, fish right there is what made you famous, brother. That's what made me famous. <laughs> That is what made you famous right there. Big black crappie right there. Just big, thick. All right, guys, we're, we're uh, coming out here trying to find some crappie. Like I've said before, say it again, because it's the number one thing. Uh, you're looking for shad. If you're looking in an area and you're not finding bait fish, you're not gonna find fish that's eating the bait fish. So well, that's, pretty that's a pretty, pretty good pile right there. So we're gonna mark that too. That's what we're doing, number one, to start the day off and start trying to figure out, are the bait fish holding in these areas? We'll move around uh, until we find where they're at and that's gonna put us on, on the fish. So we won't even sit down and start fishing until we're confident we're in an area where, where there's fish at. Tell you what, it's tough today. Pretty dang tough. Pretty tough. What do you think, it's a high pressure system? Oh, uh, it's just super cold and wind. It's just a tough day. It's huh? just a tough, tough old day right now. Sun's up, temperature's warming up. It feels good out here compared to what it did earlier. Yeah, yeah. nope. Oh yeah, you got it. Come on, there you go. There you go. Got out of the tree. Yeah. Got out of the tree. Mm -hmm. 
little either size there. Yeah, except for, see, you say, that's the deal here. We say little eater, and that's a 12 inch crappie. I know, I know. But when you're, you, when you catch them mega studs, but that's a good crappie. I mean, all, anybody would be tickled to catch that fish. Yeah, I guarantee you. But you catch a few of them big ones. Uh, It'll, it'll kind of spoil it'll, you. It'll spoil the heck out of you. It'll kind of spoil you, but hey, that's all right. Good fish, good fish. They're not very far out, are they? No, we've kind of got up here on them a little bit. Well, it's a good thing that I bought a ball of bait. Drop down to where they are. I'm not in. Got him. I'm just drop down where they are. Right there. Right there, another old good one. Now they're good. About a 10 they're left. They're just moving in and out. Now, yep. They? yep. We were talking. He just happened to look down. He goes, well, there's a mess up look coming right in right here. And they just kind of came into view, didn't they? Yep. Another good keeper. So what's happening, what I feel like's happening, I mean, this is all just a, you know, a guess of what I think's going on, but we started out on the blows today, targeting big fish, of course. Uh, we fish out there for long, for a while and see no shad. So just like what I've always said, you know, you want to follow the shad. We fish a lot of my normal spots and don't, I haven't been doing real great. We've caught a few, but uh, it seems to be for some reason, I don't know if the water temperatures cooled down or whatever, but some of the shad have kind of pushed back up in the creeks. And so we come out here to try to target that a little bit. And sure enough, uh, we've started getting on a couple here. Look at there, look at there. I mean, if you can get him to, if you can get the guy to jerk when his bobber's under. Look at there, <laughs> look at him. Well, I didn't want to mess up your time. I know, I know. What, what, what else? I mean, I'm sure you're not done yet, are you, with what <laughs> no. you were saying? Yeah, go ahead and you can finish that. You can... Yeah, so what else were you saying? I'd never cut a man off of, you know, when you well, find... Well, I didn't mean to. When you finally catch one. I didn't mean to cut you off of what you were You should have not jerked. You should have let it just... You should have let it go under yeah. and just not caught it. That's right. That's what I should have done. But anyways, what are you? Well, what else were you saying, Kyle? Don't let me interrupt you. You just. I'm saying this. The, it seems to me that the shad have moved back in the creek a little bit, and so that's where the the fish have moved. But you'll notice that once we move back in here, you, you're not catching as big of fish. Uh, the bigger fish are probably still out in deeper water on schools, but they just may not be locked up on on structure as much. So. You got them down now, bro. Put them down. There's a good one. Ain't nobody would be. Good one. I mean, that's, and that, that is, that's actually the best one for here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a 12, 12 incher probably. I mean, that's the thing, dude. You, you see that fish after fishing here with what we, see and you're disappointed and that's when you know you're just spoiled well there's no doubt we could we could have stayed out there and tried to go for the slabosaurus or whatever but i'm telling you we could see them we could find we could find them yeah but they did not well no and we're using minnows yeah they didn't want no part of it we we cared about them but they don't care about us no, they don't care about I mean, us that's at just all. that's a hard pill to swallow all right guys, everybody asks how I rig my slip bobber setups and I'm gonna walk through that. I'm gonna walk through the entire set so you guys will know kind of what's going on. Of course, eight foot ACC, that's what I use. Uh, you can use a six and a half footer, I've used it. You, anyways, you can use any of the rods, but I believe the eight foot is the best. Uh, you can pitch it out, cast it out, and you got enough rod to lift your line up if you get some slack in it to set the hook. On the reel size, I like a 2000 size reel. 
It's it has a big, big enough bell so that your line comes out good. When you have your bobber stopper, it doesn't get tangled up as much. I got a 10 pound braided line, uh, basically any type of braid, but I use the high vis where I can see it floating on the water. Before you put your bobber on, of course, you have a slip knot, a little slip bobber stop, and I use the rope ones. I don't like the rubber bobber stops as much. They tend to get hung up in your line a lot more. Uh, but mainly what I'm looking for in a, in a really good slip bobber is one that has this brass insert. When you're using braid, the whole purpose of using braid is that you never break off your bobber. So when you're using braid and you don't have this brass insert, it'll pull nicks in your bobber and it'll, it'll hang up. This is a weighted swivel, probably the number one question I get. This is a, a weighted swivel, that's about an eighth ounce. But basically what that does is where you don't have to put on a split shot every time you uh, retie your leader. So I'll use six pound, six or eight pound fluorocarbon and I'll have a leader about a foot and a half long onto whatever hook that you're using. But when you do hang up in a tree and you break off, you get this right here. You break off at the swivel. Your bobber does not come off. You don't lose your uh, slip knot and you put your leader back on, ready to go. Ooh, now they're There's another you waker. Know, it, it's, it's surprising that uh, Right. I actually got up here while Kyle was doing his interview, or his 14, 15, which I apologize, his <laughs> 30 minute speech on uh, Bobber Stop. Yeah. I got up here and I could actually watch, and it's like you said, Kyle, it works so much better when you know where you bait it. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 100%. Real down on him. This is a better fish, I think. He better a drum. This might be a catfish. Big like catfish. No, it's a crappie. It's a good crappie. Real good crappie. Another dandy. It is a crappie. Real good crappie. Yeah, that's definitely the best one back here. That's a that's a good one. We found us a spot now that's loaded up a little bit. Hey, Good old Kyle, that's exactly what the deal is. How many times? Oh, no. No. <laughs> Don't tell uh, it. How many times has it been? You go, you go to all the hot spots, you fish, you fish, you fish, you fish. You're about to give up and that one spot. We got that real cold snap. I mean, when I'm talking cold, it got down like zero negative in the negative temperatures for five or six days. And I feel like uh, when that happened, that temperature range where the bite is usually really hot, we just drove it, we just drove through that. And where usually that would have lasted three or four weeks, we had to, we hit that in, you know, one, we only had that for a week or two. And so I think it drove it on down into the 40s. And when it gets in the 40s, man, they just get real sluggish. <laughs> Well, you ain't got to worry about... It's so cold, I've had to put the tips of my finger in my coffee. You ain't got to worry about having fish on your finger so yet. Oh. God, about these weenie. Oh gosh, there's an old class two flopper. Oh, oh. Another old dandy, in. boys, yep. You got to get right on top of them. Another dandy. Yeah. Oh my God, Tyler, old baby. Yeah. Look at that. That one might be bigger than the last one. I think it is. I think it's Big old right. plate. That's a meal for a guy right there. All in that right there. Pretty tough day today. Got super cold last night, a little bit breezy this morning, so we're having a little trouble with the a little more trouble with boat control and getting on the fish, but uh, we've picked up a couple really good ones. You gotta stay right on these black crappie. They're real finicky fish. Uh, they want the bait sitting right in front of them. 
and even then sometimes they, they just won't bite. So we're just keeping it in front of their face and picking some off. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us here on Bull Shoals Lake. Had a heck of a time fishing with Scott. It took us a while to get on some fish today. Man, it was tough. This is what you can expect to catch at uh, Bull Shoals at times, but there's sometimes these fish, they'll just whip you. Yep. And you just got to get in there, and if you catch 10 or 12 inches, my gosh, ain't nothing wrong with that. No, no, not, a not thing. at all. Hey, there you go. Thanks a lot to everybody for you guys sticking in and watching us. Uh, hopefully it'll be worth, uh, worth your time. Check us out on all of our social media and our uh, streaming services of whatever G3 Sportsman. I want to thank Kyle once again for putting up with us and, and uh, catching, catching fish for us. And uh, hey, keep what you can use, release the rest, and we'll see you somewhere next time right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching.